Hey, what's up, guys? This is Bright Ralph, and today I'm bringing you another how to video. Today we're going to touch on the subject of how to stop Windows 10 from forcing it. You from forcing itself onto your Windows 7, 8, or 8.1 machine. Um, if you have concerns about that, they're totally, totally warranted because um, Windows 10 is forcing itself onto people without their consent. Um, and I think their tactics, the way that the tactics Microsoft are using to um, deploy Windows 10 is really, really messed up. So anyway, I'm here to help the ones who are looking for a way to stop that from happening. I'm going to show you a really cool too. So this is ultimateoutsider.com slash downloads. Um, I will put a link to this site in the video description. So go ahead and look there if you want the link to it instead of typing it out. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to go here and you want the GWX control panel. Now you can get the installer or the standalone, but I personally recommend the installer because that way you'll be able to run the um, uh, there's a process, there's a button you can click in the program and it'll well we'll get to that, we'll get to that, but you'll see why. So. Um, personally, I'm going to do the standalone because this is on a Windows 10 machine. So I'm going to run a standalone just to show you I don't need an installer or anything like that. But do get the installer. Um, it's really up to you, but I recommend the installer. So go ahead and download the, um, the installer. I'm getting the standalone. Go ahead and run through the installation. When the installation is finished, you want to, of course, open the program. Of course, you have to accept the agreement. And then um, the information is just going to tell you what's going on. So this will be good once you do all this stuff and then restart. You can open this up and you make sure that everything's, you know, the way you want it by looking here under the information section. So to start, the first thing we want to do is click on this button. And then we're going to click on this. And you're going to change your Windows Update settings to what you prefer. Um, and then you're going to click on this. Now, actually, no, I want to reiterate that. This is... Um, this is a personal setting. You can click on this, whether or it basically disables or, or a enables Windows of downloading uh, non-critical updates. Um, so that's a personal personal thing for you guys. Um, and then, of course, you want to click to prevent Windows 10 upgrades. So you want to click on that. You want to click on this uh, to clear the Windows update cache. And then you also want to. This is what I was talking about. Why you want to download the installer? Because I'm not sure if this works. Um, I could put Windows 7 or 8 on my virtual machine and try it out, but I don't really need to anyway. I'm not sure if this works on the standalone version, so um, that's why you want the uh, installer. So then the last thing you do is just click on the Enable Monitor Mode, and then close the program, restart your machine, and if you want, you can go back to the program, open it up, and the, all the stuff that you disabled should show up in the Information tab I first showed you. And there you go. That's it, guys. That will keep... Um, that will keep Windows 10 off your machine if you just do what I just showed you in this tutorial. So please give me a like, rate, subscribe, favorite, all that great stuff, especially if it's helped you out. If, if this video helped you out, please, please, please help me out too. I appreciate it. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps a lot of people. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.